This is my video I'm putting out on how to change your Sears three-point hitch into a DC actuated hitch. First thing we're going to do is step one. Step one is to remove the old handle. Cut it in the middle and remove it. Step two, which is right here, step two, assemble all pieces to the hitch. Here's your pieces. You put putting one piece on here, this here. You put all your pieces together. This one goes, little one goes in the middle. Goes on like that. All pieces go together on your hitch. And then like that. Okay, this would be how all your pieces are. As I've got listed right, right here on this one, as you'll see, I have the pieces numbered one, three, five, four, and two. I have each piece here numbered. As in the first drawing, this is piece one and two. Piece one and two are located here and here. Okay, piece three and four is this piece here and this piece here. Okay, this one right here on this drawing, I have piece number five. Piece number five is this little small piece that goes in between piece three and piece four. Okay, all pieces are on there. As far as welding, as I have right here, piece one, two, and five get welded on. These two pieces right here will get welded with enough space right here just to keep these from going side to side and have them work freely like this. They're gonna be lifting you, your bottom arms. These two pieces here are to move freely. This is piece three and piece four. This is piece five. This will be welded on according to how much lift you want. So you have to have it Everything's set up to understand where this piece will be welded on. This will be your last piece that you get welded on. All right, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and assemble it now. And you also need this little U piece right here. This little U piece, which I have on the back of my tractor already, you'll have to drill a hole in the bottom where the hitch ball goes and to secure that so the bottom of your DC actuator goes in there. And we come over here. Now I will take, put the hitch back on the tractor so you can see how it's supposed to turn out. Give you a better idea of how to do it. This here, put the two bolts back in the top very loosely just to demonstrate how it goes. Then you hitch your DC actuator and you'll take and put a bolt or a pin through this bottom here, through your two holes. You've already got a hole drilled here and mounted to the frame. This is going to come up, and this here is the top you mount to the top of your actuator. Just like so. I'm using bolts just to illustrate it. You can use pins, bolts. They're 5 16 bolts. The holes in the actuator is 5 16 on each end, so you use a 5 16 bolt. And what's going to happen is your arms are going to be welded like this. They're going to be connected to your head. One goes there. Quick pull pin. The other one's going to come here, and this is going to be located over here. with a quick pull pin. I made two holes in these so that you can give more left or less left, or if your weight requires it, you'll have to move to the inside holes in order to lift. The DC actuator I'm using, it picks up 325, uh, 225 pounds 
and it is more than sufficient to do what we need to do with the hitch. As you can see, it's way down, but as we come up, these are gonna be welded on. As it comes up, it's gonna raise this as the actuator goes up and down. Now, the highest point we want is probably about right here, which is maybe 15 inches off the floor. You have to weld these on. Once you weld these on, that's gonna determine your lift. The reason why I say don't weld the center one on is because when this is where it's at, this is where you want it to be in the fully up position. As it goes down, as you can see, I don't have it welded right now. As it goes down to the down position, wherever you want to the furthest down position, is where this will have to be welded on when the actuator is in the all the way down position. So like I said, it's gonna move up and down. Now your actuator, when you put it on, you want it straight up and down. You don't want an angle. You want it straight up and down right here. And so that you, when you put your center link on, it's nowhere gonna interfere with your center link and your center link can't bind up and tear your actuator up. Now to go over here, we're gonna get the drawings and I'm gonna show you them in close detail. And that way you'll be able to lay out and do exactly what I've done here. And this will change your Sears manual hitch over to a DC actuated hitch in one evening. All dimensions have been wrote down on the paper. This right here is piece one and two. That is these outside, two outside pieces. This one and this one here. They have to be welded on, as well as this center one right here. These right here, piece three and four, which are these, do not weld them on. They have to float on the shaft in order to make it free floating. This piece right here, as you can see, I've already drilled the hole in it. All I gotta do is take out this bolt, run it through this arm, arm three, arm four, and through this little arm five, and that will make it solid. It will give you downward pressure of 225 pounds to put on the turning plow or a grading blade on the back to remove snow or to scrape gravel, driveways, anything like that. And it will give you pressure to push the plow down in the ground instead of the plow just riding along the top and not going very deep. This right here is a three quarter round rod, which is this one right here. You will have to replace these pieces after you've done cut them out. Cut these out, throw these away. You don't need them alone. This rod's gonna take care of that. Then you have this piece here, this piece here, your actuator, this, and a switch that you've got to wire up. And I'll have to make another video on how to add the switch and how to wire the switch up. And I'll give you the, uh, where they get the actuator from, it's roughly around 60 bucks for the actuator, so it's pretty cheap. And the switch is roughly around maybe $13, $18 for the switch. You'll have to have a little piece of wire to get two wires to go from your hitch to your switch, and then two wire, little short wires go from your switch to your battery on the hot and the plus side. And the switch will automatically reverse it so that it, it will go up and it'll go down just by flipping the switch on the dashboard. It is not a very fast actuator, but it's the cheapest route that you can go to turn it into a DC actuated hitch and not manual. I hope this helps out anybody that have had any problem with the other videos I've made and didn't give no dimensions. This gives all dimensions lays everything out, tells you exactly how to do it. After I get the, uh, the hitch welded, the pieces welded, uh, piece one, piece two, and piece five welded in position, I can give you dimensions of that if you're using this actuator only. If you use another actuator, it's probably gonna be longer or shorter, and that's gonna change where piece five will be located, this piece here. That has to be welded on as well after you have everything welded in position and you see where you want full top and full bottom to be. Thank you, I hope this helps out anyone.